Hello, and welcome to another Adobe Training Tip of the Month from your friends at Head Tricks Training. This month we're in Dreamweaver, and we're going to learn how to create an image map. An image map is a way to put multiple hotspots, or links, on one image. Normally, an image can only have one link. As we see below in the properties box, it says link. I would insert my one link right there. But to the left of that, if I click on the image, and the image is selected in the properties, you'll see map. And you'll see three different hotspot tools. The rectangular hotspot tool, the oval hotspot tool, and the polygon hotspot tool. Three different shapes that we can use to draw the area that we want to make hot or linkable. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and use this rectangular hotspot tool. And click from the corner and drag to the right. And now I have an invisible hotspot. I also have a little error that comes up that says, please describe the image map in the alt field on the properties inspector. You'll see in the properties inspector below it says ALT for the alt alternative text. This is used for people that are disabled that might have screen readers that read to them a description of the image. In this particular case, it could be a description of the link. So I'm going to click over here on the alt for alternative text and type in visit New Mexico. In some browsers, like Internet Explorer, this little alternative text will actually show over as we roll over that hotspot. But before we do that, let's go ahead and create another using the oval hotspot tool. I'm going to click and drag over Alaska. And again, it wants me to add an alternative text. So I'll write in here, visit Alaska. I can always come back here with my pointer hotspot tool to click or change the coordinates of my hotspot, change the height, or to drag the corners to make them either end or width. Doing the same with my circle. And lastly, I have the polygonal hotspot tool, which will work best for this image, like for the shape of California. And you'll see to add the polygonal hotspot, I don't click and drag, I just click to add a point. And now the annoying message comes up, letting me know once again, I need to add an alternate text field. I could always change that in my preferences if I wished. So let me click over here again, and click, and as I click to add points, you'll see it just draws the shape around the state of California, making my hotspot link pretty perfect. Once again, I can come down to the pointer hotspot tool and always change those points to make the hotspot either a little bit bigger or a little smaller, in this case, making it the exact size of the state of California. I'll go ahead and add an alt text field, so visit California. And then I'll go ahead and add a link. Alright, let's go ahead and preview it in the browser. I'll save my changes. So now when I roll over New Mexico, you'll see the pointer, the cursor changes to a mouse cursor. And if I stop it right there, you'll see that the tooltip shows up saying, visit New Mexico. If I go over to California, the exact same thing. And if I click, it brings me to California.com. And there you have it. And that's it. That's how we make image maps in Dreamweaver. I hope you enjoyed this tip of the month from Head Tricks Training.